Almost 16 years into his stint as CEO of General Electric, Jeff Immelt writing a no holds bar letter to shareholders. I think the good guy backslapping is something that he's just tired of. That right now, he th I think if business has a voice, they should exercise that voice. Following GE's most transformative year, when it completed its biggest acquisition, started shrinking its once mighty finance arm and tussled with Congress over the funding of the Import Export Bank, Immelt saying the GE of the future won't be so friendly. Noting the most important culture change ahead of us is to be completely intolerant of being nice for the sake of getting along. Immelt says the relationship with business and government is toxic and blames governments for hindering global growth, writing most government policy is anti-growth. In the U.S., we want exports but seem to hate trade and exporters. Globally, governments love small business but then regulate them to death. Strategist Greg Valier saying in this case, Immelt's not alone. What he said reflects the thinking of a lot of business people. They can get by, they can make profits, but to really grow, they need a friend in Washington, a friend among the politicians rather than adversaries. Immelt also taking on what he calls a culture of political correctness, which mires companies in processes that fail to produce good outcomes, writing it doesn't do any good to win awards for good governance if you're getting eaten alive by competitors. While Immelt says he welcomes the focus activist investors like Nelson Peltz bring to a firm, he says it's challenging for management to balance what activists want now and what activist regulation prevents the company from doing. Still yells, Jeffrey Sonnenfeld says it would be wrong to read the 19-page letter solely as a venting of Immelt's frustration. Sonnenfeld says it also reflects Immelt's pride in what GE has accomplished. This is somebody who's, who, who wants to really scream from the mountaintops, hey, we, this, we're getting there, we're doing this, we're getting it done. Immelt's work far from being done. He's predicting GE will be a top 10 software firm by 2020 as it focuses on becoming a digital industrial powerhouse, one unafraid to say what's on its mind. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Mary Thompson in New York.